This judoka has a very fascinating story of becoming a judoka from severe injury to the top of the world. A judoka who adorns modern judo with his beautiful pickup and wrestling in general. Two-time world champion, Japanese champion, winner and medalist of numerous international tournaments, and simply a genius of modern judo. His name is Joshiro Maruyama, a Japanese who does not have an Olympic medal, but who managed to win the hearts of hundreds of thousands of fans around the world. The genius of judo, that's how he was nicknamed by the Japanese after his triumph at the world championships. An interesting fact is that Joshiro Maruyama's father was also a professional judoka and even participated in the Olympic Games. And his older brother Goki Maruyama also has a beautiful grip and often fights to this day in intra-Japanese tournaments in the category up to 81 kilograms, such as a family of true judokas. We move on to Tokyo 2013, the Tokyo Grand Slam, and young Maruyama. For every Japanese person, this tournament is very important. Joshiro was no exception. At that moment, the Japanese shows a great fight, defeats his opponents, and comes out on the Brazilian Charles Chibana. As you can see, this meeting became fatal for the Japanese. The Brazilian goes in for a throw, and Maruyama suffers a severe knee injury. The Japanese immediately signals that he is unable to continue the competition. Maruyama awaits the toughest recovery process. Doctors said that he would have to finish his career and perform, and the maximum that he will be able to do is only to train, but not to perform. But Joshiro didn't agree with that. He wanted to return to fighting. Two years after that terrible incident, Joshiro Maruyama returned to the tatami. The Grand Prix that took place in Kazakhstan was the place of our hero's return. Look how Maruyama fought back then. He was literally like a robot, attacking time after time to throw his opponents with his crowning move. Looking at his wrestling in Kazakhstan, I had no idea that just a year and a half ago this man was relearning how to walk. A man who could not walk is now launching people into space. Then in Kazakhstan, our hero showed a lot of beautiful throws. First of all, it was a catch and throw over the back. In the semi-finals he managed to defeat Yeldos Zhumakonov from Kazakhstan. And in the bout for gold, Joshiro defeated Jinsai Smagulov. It was a very significant victory. Firstly, it was a successful return after a terrible injury. Secondly, it was the first gold from the World Series tournaments in general. For years later, Joshiro Maruyama is back again at a tournament called the Grand Slam Tokyo, which was held in 2017. It's hard to say how Maruyama felt, or if he had any excitement, but in the second round of the competition, the Japanese faced Charles Chibana again. This time Maruyama defeated him and moved on. It was confident, and without too much emotion. Maruyama came out of the final fairly confidently, showing a couple of quality throws and good wrestling. A true classic in the world of judo, Abi Hifumi vs Joshiro Maruyama. Hifumi was stronger this time and threw on upon Maruyama. Joshiro Maruyama walked away with the silver medal, but the most important victory lies in Maruyama's successful return to the big sport and a medal from the Tokyo Grand Slam after that unfortunate injury. A couple of months after Tokyo, Joshiro gets a great opportunity to prove himself again. The Japanese coaching staff gave him a chance at the Grand Slam in Paris, one of the most prestigious tournaments of the year, and a magical atmosphere in the stands. Then the Japanese were at his best and showed a very good fight. He managed to defeat the tournament host from France, and in the third round he defeated the judo legend from Ukraine Georgi Zentaria. In the final he had to face the world champion and vice Olympic champion in BAL. At that time, the Korean was very strong and in great shape. Maruyama couldn't beat him then. The Korean emerges victorious from this encounter by disqualifying his opponent Maruyama. Our hero again leaves the tournament without a gold medal. A couple of months later in April, the traditional Japanese championship takes place in Fukuoka, championship of Japan, winning which Maruyama can take a place in the national team for the next year at least. It's a very important event. Joshiro shows excellent wrestling, and we would like to note the variety of techniques, throws over the hip, underhook, back throw, and clinch.
Maruyama makes it to the finals, beats a judoka named Kinzo Togawa, and becomes the Japanese champion. 2018 was a very fruitful and productive year for our hero. Next you will find out why. The coaching staff sends the newly crowned national champion to the Grand Prix tournament in China. Great wrestling from Maruyama, a couple of takedowns and upon with an overhand throw. As you can see, Maruyama used to throw over his back very often in competitions. As a result, Joshiro advances to the quarterfinals against Koryas and BAL. Well, we need revenge for the loss in Paris, and I'll leave it at that. Crazy upon so Tsurika Migoshi and a solid semi-final appearance. Then a trip to the final, where he defeated Mikhail Pulyev by Shido and won the second Grand Prix gold of his career. Maruyama gets a unique opportunity to represent Japan at the Asian Games held in Jakarta all in the same year, 2018. I saw him as the favorite for this tournament and he showed great judo throughout the day. As you can see, Maruyama showed a powerful front foot on Ippon at this tournament and won with a painful arm hold. Waiting for him in the finals was the same Korean and BAL, the third time they've met in 2018 and the second time they've met in the finals all in the same year. With a very quick Ippon, the Korean defeats Maruyama and becomes the champion. Maruyama again didn't realize what had happened, but as a result, the Japanese became the vice champion of the Asian Games. Maruyama goes to the Grand Slam in Osaka all in the same year 2018. As for Japanese practice, Maruyama struggled quite a bit in 2018, but it was evident that he was possibly being tested for his strength, and he hardly ever failed, always coming back with a medal from all tournaments. A home Grand Slam is always a spectacle and maximum heat for Japan. In the second and third rounds Maruyama shows the most powerful Ippans and makes the audience applaud him. And in a year he will become a real star of the world level and all Japan will be waiting for his performance time after time. Maruyama advances to the final against Abi Hifumi. The stands are waiting for a classic encounter. It won't be the first time Abi and Maruyama have contested gold and it won't be the last. You can see for yourself that this time Maruyama comes out the winner. A great combination with first a catch and then Tamon Age brings him a Wazari and the most important win of this productive year. But Maruyama is not sent on holiday, instead the coaching staff decides to give him a place in the lineup for the Guangzhou Masters. All the classics, a dominant and uncompromising fight from the Japanese. In the second round, Maruyama dropped Dennis Viru to a pawn with a pickup and in the quarterfinals Curlin gambled by the same hold. In the semi-finals our hero defeats Jumakonov and confident and in a dominating style makes the final against Baruch Shmailov from Israel. First the Japanese drops the Israeli on a Wazari with an Uchimata and then gets the second Wazari with a Sotsurika Migoshi. This seemingly endless year of competition for Joshiro Maruyama ends with a gold medal from a very important Masters tournament. The first tournament of 2019 is in our video. It's the Old Japan Championships in Fukuoka. A couple of months before, Maruyama won the Grand Slam in Dusseldorf, where he took the first Grand Slam gold of his career. But the tournament is much more important now, a national championship in a pre-Olympic year and on the eve of a home world championships. Maruyama shows unreal form and confidently beats everyone in his path. As a result, Joshiro advances to the final against Abi Hifumi. Once again, Hifumi wasn't prepared for the rather unexpected technique from Joshiro. In the end, Joshiro Maruyama becomes a two-time Japanese champion and books a spot on the national team for himself. At that time, I immediately identified this guy as the number one favorite for the World Championship gold. And here it is, the World Championships in Tokyo in 2019. Maruyama simply leaves no chance to any of his opponents. One by one, Joshiro throws down on Ippon, and eventually our hero makes it to the semi-finals against Abi Hifumi, a semi-final worthy of a final. One of the most eagerly awaited encounters of the World Championship, Maruyama defeats Abi Hifumi with the same technique he used to finish him at the Japanese Championships a few months ago. Abi is defeated and Maruyama feasts and advances to the finals. In the final, however, he fought against Korea's Kim Limwon. 
I think mentally Maruyama has already won, as it would seem that the hardest part is over. An upon throw over the hip, and Jushiro becomes the 2019 world champion. A long six years after his injury, Maruyama not only learned to walk again, he became a world champion, having traveled a long way to this pinnacle. There was no limit to his joy, and I think Maruyama mentally sent himself to the Olympic Games in Tokyo. But we will get to that later. A couple of months after the World Championships, Maruyama lost to Obiofumi in the Osaka Grand Slam final. And the coaching staff has a real dilemma, who to send to the Tokyo Games? We will all know the answer to this question in December 2020. After a 20-minute encounter, Obiofumi drops Maruyama on a wazari and earns a trip to the Olympics, which he would go on to win. A tough defeat for Maruyama, and again a task to endure, pull himself together, overcome, and move on. While the main Japanese team is preparing for the Olympics, Maruyama will have to go to the World Championships in Budapest in 2021 to defend his world title. I think about 80% of judo fans thought he was the favorite to win gold. In principle, it was logical. In my opinion, Maruyama was not as energized and did not have that fire in his eyes as before. But perhaps my opinion is wrong. Maruyama eventually defeats all of his opponents by a wazari margin and advances to the finals to face European champion Manuel Lombardo of Italy. Maruyama drops him with the help of Tamonage on a wazari, and that's enough for him to become a two-time world champion and defend his title. We see a smile on his face, but sadness in his eyes from not making it to the Tokyo Olympics. As a result, Joshiro took a huge pause in international judo for more than a year and a half, and our hero returns, already at the next World Championships in Tashkent in 2022. Again Maruyama, and again a title defense. This time, I also considered him a favorite, but not 100% for gold. Abiyafumi, who seemed already much stronger than Maruyama, was also entered for the World Championships. But Jushiro surprises with his physical form and his wrestling. In all the bouts before the World Finals, he simply crushes his opponents without a chance. The judo that everyone loves him for. A brilliant takedown, and simply no one can stop him. And here it is, Abiyafumi versus Jushiro Maruyama. Joshiro flies at his opponent, and stupidly ends up on the tatami, Wazari in Abi's favor. And that's enough for him to win. Maruyama loses his title, and becomes vice world champion in 2022. Abi has learned to think, and analyze the bouts with his opponent Maruyama. And Maruyama made a grave mistake. Grand Slam Tokyo 2022, a couple of months after the World Championships in Tashkent. Maruyama never resolved the issue of this tournament called the Tokyo Grand Slam during his career. The 2013 Tokyo Grand Slam almost took everything away from him. And now he's here to finally take that gold, after almost 10 years. Maruyama is the number one favorite for gold. Excellent and already weighted wrestling from him, nothing extra. Our hero goes into the final against not just a youngster, but a very young Shinsei Hattori. The high school student made the final against the genius Joshiro Maruyama. Joshiro confidently and effortlessly defeats his opponent, and takes this long-awaited Tokyo Grand Slam gold. In May 2023, the next World Championships were held in Doha. Joshiro Maruyama confidently reached the final, but in the final he again lost his main rival in his career, Abi Hifumi. The career of Joshiro Maruyama is not over, Maruyama is still full of strength and desire to fight and prove that he is the best. He is now 30 years old, and he can still fulfill his dream of the Olympic Games, not in 2024, but maybe in 2028. I hope that Joshiro Maruyama can fulfill his dream and take Olympic gold in the future. After such a journey of a true samurai, he deserves this award. This was Joshiro Maruyama, one of the most spectacular judokas of our time, with a very hard and in some places said fate.